Hello, everyone. May the 4th be with you. I am here with my buddy, Brett. Hey, Brett, how you doing, man? Doing awesome. We are, we are going to build the UCS Slave One. This is Boba Fett's ship, as seen originally in Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. And of course, we've seen it here and there since then. It has one, uh, 1,996 pieces. Brett, do you know when this was released? It was about six years ago? Yeah, in 2015. Released in 2015. It was on the shelf for a couple of years. And uh, Brett and I both got our hands on a copy for today. Brett, you're rebuilding yours. I am. I acquired this in a trade, so I took it apart so I could enjoy the build. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I Mine was brand new. I've had it for, I think, about four years. Mm -hmm. I got it brand new. I just unsealed the box today. I'm sorry I left you all out of that process, but I wanted to get on with laying the bags out in the order that we need them in. We've got Brickham's Den. PJ Kappa is here. Uh, Nick Diaz, Dave Morgan, the Brick Separator, Aubrey is here. Aubrey just became one of the uh, awesome supporters over on Patreon.com slash Boone Builds. Um, all those kind folks over there. And you're you're one of, you're a Patreon uh, supporter of Boone Builds, aren't you, Brett? I am, yeah. All right. Well, thank you all so much for being here. We're going to dive right in. Holly is here, Lego Cat Creator. i got to open up this packet with the instructions in it, and I'm going to go ahead and full screen this as we get started here so that you guys can have a little peek into this experience so there's a sticker sheet we've got some stickers to put on brett your uh your your previous owner prevented you from uh having to put any stickers on today is that true yeah, that's very helpful and uh he's a perfectionist so they are placed very well <laughs> but he left one for you he left the biggest probably... yeah the biggest one so we'll just uh, take a glance in here. Uh, this is a, a picture of Jens, and Jens was the Brett. He was the the design lead on the team. Yeah, he was the design lead for this, um, and you and I got a chance to meet him a couple years ago, which is cool. Yep, Brett and I were at uh, Fan Media Days. Was that 2018? Yes. Together, and we had the opportunity to meet Jens, so that was awesome. Um, he had. The last time I saw Jens, he had a lot more hair. He had both hair on top of his head and a big beard. He had a big glasses. beard, yeah. So he looks a lot different now, but uh, fun fun times. And we're going to dive right in. Classic Bricks is here. Tan Jam. Hey, Tan Jam. Welcome to the Boone Builds stream. Head back over to this view. Tan Jam. I got to know Tan Jam on Brixie's stream in the, uh, mm. in the live chat there. So... Fazoom is here. Of course, always having fun with Fazoom. King Tut says, which one is the best slave one? I don't know the answer to that. Um, I think I have them all. I have yet to build them all. I've got a bit of a slave one backlog. Hmm. And uh, so I'm excited to build this one. And Brett is getting a definite head start on me while I'm thumbing through all these pages about interesting stuff. <laughs> I gotta dump out some stuff here. Jake Sadovich. Jake Sadovich, I think, probably has built them all, and he says UCS. Jake says UCS, best slave one. So I, I would trust Jake. Mm -hmm. Jake also has a really wonderful slave one mock. A like trophy fig scale, or maybe what's what's the is it micro fig scale? Hmm. And uh that thing was pretty cool. Fazoom yeah. says secretly the first one is the best. The, just uh, don't the odd know. Color, the odd color one. <laughs> I have it. It's up there behind the sails of the yeah. Black Seas Barracuda, but uh, I don't. I don't know. We'll see. All right. The game. Yep. Start a new pile of garbage with this plastic. We have one of these. Who are these guys? These are like S Cloud City guards. Is there a, is there a better term for these guys? I'll show you this guy as soon as I get him put together. Mm -hmm. I think I've got my camera set up here that if I put this guy right about here, it should focus on him. Mm -hmm. Nope. Don't look at me, camera. No. Oh, I lost that. I lost all that. Uh, I lost all that focus power when the last time my camera went off. Maybe that was a problem. Maybe I need to it up on have your it on the, the simple vocal. There he is. Uh -oh. 
This is a this is a new this is a whole new setup we got here, folks. So we're getting used to stuff today. But we've yeah. got a whoever this guy is, Torin. Torin says uh, I'm in a happy mood. Good. May your days only get better. Awesome. Hassani M is here. Says how's it going? Well, I'm not very far along here. I got to get building. I think we're going to do about two hours today, and we're not anticipating that we will be able to finish this today, but uh, we're going to set aside some time tomorrow afternoon as well. I am trying background music for the first time on a stream today. I listen, I watched a number of streams that have background music, and I went on YouTube, I think uh, late last week, and did a post with a poll to all of you and said, uh, you want to listen to background music on the stream or not? Mm -hmm. And I think 85% of people who took that poll said they wanted background music. So I'm trying it today. It's not open source. It's uh, it's copyright, uh, copyright free, royalty free music. Right. So we're going to see how that works today. My build came and... away, but it might be backstage right now. Oh, it is backstage. We will bring that right on back. And Melissa, Melissa says, hi, Bat Boone and Captain Brett with a $20 $20 super chat. Thank you so much, Melissa. Melissa, you are a wonderful supporter here at Boone Builds. Couldn't do it without you. Appreciate the super chat very much. I feel like um, maybe uh, (laughs) Dave says, I'd prefer no music, but I defer to the masses. (laughs) <laughs> Dave, you let me know if the music's too loud, all right? I'm hoping it's not too loud. Jay Hoff says, have you ever done a live show uh, on the Star Destroyer yet? I don't have the Star Destroyer. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if I will get the Star Destroyer. Um, there are some Star Wars there are some Star Wars sets that I will go out of my way to get, and um, the Star Destroyer isn't one of them. Um, so I don't I don't know. I don't know if I'll be doing that or not, but I have not. But thank you very much, Jay Hoff, for the question. Hassani says, I got the Lego uh, Ecto-1 set. That That is a set I did go out of my way to get. Mm-hmm. I went to the Washington Square Lego store on day one of Ecto-1, and I got myself that set. Brett, what was the last set that you, uh, you know, went to the Lego store on opening day for? Oh, opening day. I know I did the book. Uh, Papa book. Papa book. I feel like a lot of the other ones I have purchased from home on day one, but of course you don't get them on that way. So. Right. How about you? Do you remember when last or the Ecto one was it? it? I think it was the Ecto oh. one, and that yeah. was back in. I want to say that was back in November. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that I think it was back in November was the last time I went to the Lego store for a day one release Jordan uh, Alder uh, Jordan Adler says the modern house set looks beautiful okay cool Uh, Tan Jam Tan Jam with a $10 super chat what's the number one UCS ship not released not yet released on your wish list, Tanjam. Yeah. That's I just answered that question to someone the other day. Um, uh, pod Pod Racer. I would love a UCS Pod Racer. Doesn't matter which um, one. Uh, I mean, I think they would probably go with Anakin's, but I don't necessarily think that's the coolest one. No, it's it's kind of small too. Yeah, maybe they could give us like Anakin and Sebulba or whatever the 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 one mm. with the big round orange. I really liked that one too. I think that'd be cool just because it's I feel like there aren't very many things that they haven't done that would be like really really rad I, f- I feel like yes there's tons of Star Wars stuff that they haven't done mm-hmm. but uh yeah I think like you know maybe they could do Anakin's because it's pretty small and Sebulba's because it's huge that would be make that one set I don't I don't know if they would ever do that but I don't know cool cool well, thank you very much, Tanjam, for supporting Boone Builds here. Tanjam, one of uh, the awesome regulars over on Brixie's stream. 
I've really been enjoying watching Brixie, and I gotta be honest with you, that's part of the reason I'm trying background music today, because Brixie always has cool background music in there, and even when the you know even when the chat and uh, the conversation between Brixie and the chat dies down a little bit, mm-hmm. you you don't have silence. So, so sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave Morgan. <laughs> we won't do it all the time, but I will do it some. Uh, oh, Nick Diaz says a UCS C3PO. That would be pretty rad. There at our local Bricks and Minifigs, there's a large C3PO that someone has done. It's a mock. Yeah. And have you seen that? I haven't. No. Maybe they took it down because it was, I remember seeing it there a while ago. It's the one in, uh, in Portland. Yeah. And they used to have this big c-3po and it certainly was kind of a ucs scale c-3po um and i think i think that the creator had done a like had painted a bunch of pieces like sort of gold oh, okay um because it was like outside the scope of gold elements that had been produced by lego mm-hmm and it looked really nice they did a good job but it obviously was not something that could be built with official pieces yeah but lego lego could do that if they want you know they could do it all pearl gold or they could all do it drum lacquer if they wanted to get real crazy and that would be certainly a super awesome ucs um so melissa and tan jam are two super chats so far so i'll say um if you if you have a request with with your super chat if, as long as it's reasonable like uh you know a voice from star wars i could give it a try or a short piece yeah. of a song or something like that tan jam and melissa let me know hey i think i am turning to page the pages are flying by oh no i'm not ready <laughs> i also have a new utility here for my cam and i think i can zoom in a little bit here quality goes down as i get closer but Mm -hmm. i can zoom in and bump this around a little bit so holler at me if i'm building outside of the scope of like what looks reasonable we'll put that right there Tanjam said, uh, that was a no strings attached super chat, but I appreciate the offer. Awesome. Well, thank you. I, I always reserve the right to deny any strings, but, uh, but it's sometimes fun to give people a little something extra for their donation. But thank you very much. Griebling Wizard says, UCS Sarlacc pit would be cool. Like a cross section of the Sarlacc with like people rotting down at the bottom, you know? Yeah. So you, turn, you turn it one way and it just looks like the pit with the Sarlacc and maybe Jabba's sail barge. And then you turn it around the other way and you see like the whole like guts of the Sarlacc. That would be fun. Yeah. Nick Diaz says UCS lightsaber. <laughs> Lego Maddox says UCS Jabba the Hut. That was a great question. Who asked that question? Was it Tanjam that asked that question? In the super chat, yeah. That was a very, uh, crowd engaging high engagement from the live chat on tan jam's question there spencer valadez says i'll pull your strings spencer valadez get out of here i'm just kidding thanks for watching buddy classic brick says if you need any camera setup advice mike aka aka the cool factor has a great setup yeah i actually have a bunch of stuff coming um so we'll see how I have to wait for all this. It's like I had my dreams Mm -hmm. and then uh, I sort of put into motion the process of like acquiring some of the stuff that I want to add to this setup and, and, and my desire to start with that, you know, surpassed my ability to get it on time for this stream, if that makes sense. All right. Where are you at, Brett? I am way farther than me. Step eleven. This is what I've got so far. Oh geez, okay. All right, I gotta I gotta speed up a little bit. This is kinda weird. My build cam's under you and Oh yeah, we can here, we'll swap those. Boom. There we go. 
this is where I'm at. So yeah, this is kind of the uninteresting part, all the technique and structure of it, but necessary. I'm really excited about how this is going to look. Holy smokes. Cody Otley. Holy. Cody Otley coming in hot. Stay on target. Cody Otley with a $50. May the force be with you. Cody, you, my it's friend, good. are a uh, Star Wars Day champion. Cody Otley, you can see him wearing the Lego Star Wars fans of Facebook uh, cap there in that picture. And t-shirt. And, um, and the t-shirt. And Brett's wearing the hat. Yep. I should have put the shirt on. I should have put the shirt on for this, and I just, you know, I forgot. Also, I kind of have a signature look, and the, the, blue, the blue plaid tends to be a little bit more on brand for me most of the time. But usually I'll put on a Star Wars something for a Star Wars video. But today you get, a Star Wars, you get a Star Wars build. So. Yeah, I can be easily bought. If you give me swag, I'll wear it. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. all right lego cat creator says same hat as brett yo cody from jake sadovich yo cody yeah. cody thank you very much for the 50 dollars, man i really appreciate it can't thank you enough for that um Cody going on the board. I don't really have a board, but Cody going on the board with Tanjam and Melissa with Super Chats for the Boon Builds today. Paul Arnold says, may the fourth be with you. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Nick Diaz says, UCS Boba Fett's prototype blaster. Cool. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Um, and Dave Morgan, Dave Morgan with $10. Dave, Dave, you're here. You're, you're serving as a moderator. You shouldn't have to give more to the stream. You're like, um, that's like, uh, well, I was going to make a crass reference, but I'll, I'll save it. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example. It's like, it's like you're working at the buffet and paying to go through the buffet after your shift. That's not right. <laughs> You're in your shift. <laughs> Mark Crookshank, you both are my heroes. Back at you, buddy. Mark's our buddy. Mark Crookshank, the Lego master. Brookshank, that's not a word, but it is now. All right. All right. Let's see. Mm. Paul Arnold says, Boone, you're such a fun guy. All right, I'm, I'm falling behind. I need to make some progress. <laughs> oh, I think I was looking at I think I was looking at submodel numbers when you told me which which one you were on. So I'm I may not be quite as far behind you as I thought I was. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. PT McEwen says, Ha, Dave Morgan is just that kind of guy. That yeah, Dave such a sweetheart i hope that's not an offensive term to use for dave um i i really like hanging out with dave hey all right here's here's some interesting news if you've followed this channel long you've probably heard me talk about my buddy perry mm -hmm. so uh perry has done some collabs with brett and yep. mark and myself so um mark from my partner from lego masters Perry, my friend, Brett, right here in the stream with me, and myself are sort of part of a... We used to call ourselves Troutdale Build League because three of us lived in Troutdale. Now, cool. do we have a new name for ourselves, or are we still Troutdale Build League? Uh, I think it's always that in our heart. Sometimes I always call us Bricks Cascade Buddies. Because yeah, yeah, that. yeah. That's our, that's our chat thread, Bricks Cascade Buddies. Yep. I've, I've messed something up. That's That's not supposed to go there. Hey, on these little dark gray and dark red, like L bracket frangy, flangy things that stick off of the back, did they both have, were they both supposed to have the dots, the studs, um, the rounds on them? Yes. I'm just now doing the second one. Okay. It has dots. Okay. I think it's like that. And the first, the first one did too? Yes. I missed that in the, but it seemed to make sense that it would be symmetrical. 
Mm -hmm. What's this? Look, there's like a little paint, little paint smudge or something on my desk there, and mm. you can see it. Jake Sadavis says, "I'm still going to call you Troutdale Build League." Okay, that's fine. More than welcome. Classic Brick says, "Boone, would you ever make a brick head of yourself?" Uh, Brett, what do you know about that? We, you and I, made some of ours of us for a, a, like a get to know you kind of challenge when we were doing our um, our trip over to Denmark the family it is. I don't think I yeah. still have mine. Do you still have yours? I still have mine. It is, um, you oh. can't see it because my new camera has a has a little uh, shallower depth of field, but yeah. my brick head is sitting right up here next to my Boone Builds logo. That's cool. So maybe if I have some downtime, I'll go grab that and, and get it. What I really need though is because we were working for Beyond the Brick, at, mm -hmm. on that trip mm -hmm. and so we built those with um I, at least i built mine with a red shirt and kind of the red collared shirt and a microphone and i i feel like for my own sort of boone builds brand i need to come up with some sort of like blue plaid shirt or even a red plaid shirt would be better than a red solid shirt but i agree that was kind of I like i saw Jeff McElwee says, what's the dream project with all your buddies collab wise? What do you think? Mark, are you still in the chat? What would be your dream project? Brett, do we have a dream project? Um, I remember one of our earlier ideas, I think it was your idea. You wanted to do a Pops Garage, which kind of, that's another tie-in to some stuff. Yeah, so we had we had the idea of doing this. Um, we had the idea of doing this build with like UCS scale vehicles called Pops Garage. So the back, like the the garage itself, would be like um, you know I don't know it would probably be like four feet wide or six feet wide and four feet deep or three feet deep. So it'd be like a UCS scale you know, um, I, I guess maybe UCS is the wrong word, but like in the scale of the Ecto-1, in the scale of the um, Batmobile, the 1989 Batmobile, which I just re realized I have not put on my Batmobile shelf. What am I even thinking? Um, anyway, I got to keep building. So the um, we were going to have this big, awesome like workshop at a much larger than minifig scale Yep. And then we were going to build all these pop culture vehicles like the Ecto-1 and the Batmobile and the Jurassic Park Jeep and the A-Team van. And, uh, and then we were going to, it was going to be like, they're all at this sort of like auto shop getting worked on. I was going to do the, um, the mystery machine. It's, it's just out of view of the camera. If that would have been cool. I wanted to do the 1966 Batmobile. Yeah. That yeah. Would be fun. yeah. And, um, you know, it was really before, this was before they started releasing those cars. We yeah. had that idea and we, it just never took off. I, we were talking about doing that idea and then I think it became, um, oh yeah, Classic Brick says the DeLorean, of course, it was going to be the DeLorean. Um, <laughs> Cheryl Pike says, something about you guys building Legos sure is sexy. Oh boy. Keep building you guys. You're great. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, we both have wives. I, that may yeah. not have been your intention, but I, but I figured, uh, I thought from my perspective, it was worth saying, it's just a good thing. but, but thank you. All right. Let's see. I am now on step 17. Well, Does anybody that. know what's that? You pulled ahead. You beat me. I did? Yeah, but so when I took this apart, I have bags one, two, and three on the table. So I'm going through a few more parts. Oh, that's my opportunity. Usually you build faster than me in these circumstances because I'm spending so much time looking at the stream. Yes. Um, Brickman, uh, Brickman Mosaics Art said, I just got started uh, on R2. Don't know if I can join or, or not. Just wanted to ask if I can. Um, I'm very excited about the R2. We're going to keep it with Brett and Boone for the simplicity of this stream today. Uh, I'm going to think about some good opportunities for uh, a, a little bit broader invitation 
yeah. for people from the community in the future, but I haven't really devised in my mind what um, what that content might be like. So, all right, I've really done something wrong here. <laughs> oh. What have I done? How is this? Oh, okay, no, that works. I was going to make fun of you, but I'm doing the same thing. I got something wrong. Here we go. There's all this stuff that should be... Okay. Yeah. Go to that. I gotta go back a few pages and see what I've. Oh no, there's that. Okay. Building and streaming and chatting. It can be hard to keep it on a straight. It is. It is hard. Mm -hmm. There's just kind of a. There's like an empty spot in here under these four by four plates. Okay. Um, and it seems a bit strange to me that like there's nothing under that, but I guess it won't matter by the time. We get around to solving it. Yeah, I'm just doing that now. I'm like, Classic yeah, Brick says, Boone, Brett, you guys going to watch Bad Batch? First episode is long. I actually wanted to bring this up. So um, I heard about this and forgot about it. And then this morning got the notification on my phone that Bad Batch was available. So I'm probably going to watch that with my phone later. Um, we went through all the Clone Wars recently. And we're probably half halfway or more than halfway through Rebels. So it's going to be fun to watch. Cool. Uh, yeah, I might I might try to give it a try. I need someone... I, I desperately want to take in the Clone Wars uh, in a meaningful way. And mm -hmm. I just have not. I've not been able to bring myself to do that, largely because... Um, oh, I don't know. I, I just, I started watching the, the first one is a movie, right? It's sort of a animated movie. And I started watching that. I've started watching that over and over and over again, and it just has not grabbed me. Hmm. So I would love for someone who is really into Clone Wars to tell me where can I start where it'll, it'll grab me, you know, and pull me in. Cause I haven't figured out what that is yet. I feel like the first season is is kind of slower to me. I wasn't really gripped until maybe season two, three, and then the later ones feel like a movie. Each one you go through, they're just so in, in depth with the character, and they're a lot of fun. Okay, so maybe I just need to give it time. Maybe I need to start it and give it some time. I bet you you could get a recommendation of where to actually start the TV series. Oh, I never posted this thing to uh, Building Boba Fett Slave One Live. Lava. Live. <laughs> um, done. Put that there and make it... Color, do I want that to be... Okay, so this thing. Make it like some sort of bright blue... That's fine. Woohoo! Boom. And then I need some lines, some arrows to encourage people to swipe up. Here's the bottom one. On this. Yeah. Boom. 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 Who knows? This could nice. be the bottom. This could be the top. Done. And then I'm going to link this. Web link. And paste it. Oh, it doesn't know what I'm trying to paste. So I'm going to go back here and do... Share. <laughs> Everyone listening to me talk through posting a story on Instagram. Hey, there was the end of a song. So, uh, Dave, you got a few silent seconds. Oh, the next song started already. So, all right. I would be now starting bag two. All right. Cool. Yeah, me too. But I'm posting to Instagram instead. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe we'll see a few people pop over from Instagram. Who knows? What happened? All right. Tan Jam says it gets very hot for them on 
with the exception of a few bad arcs. It gets very hot from then on. Oh, season three is the grabber. Thank you, Tam Jam. That's what I needed. Season three is the grabber. Okay. It gets very hot from then on. All right. PT says, try Clone Wars season two, episode five. Great intro, very World War II feel. Okay. Yes. Brickman Mosaic Art says, I might know what you can do for us to meet up on. I usually do live streams on Instagram on ins on Saturday nights and allow anyone to jump. All right, I'll try to I'll try to check that out. Brickman. Uh, <laughs> Classic Brick says hat check, Brett. What does that mean? I don't know. It's on. We're good. All right, we're good. <laughs> Jeff says the last season, and PJ says no spoilers. All right, no no spoilers, please. But Bad Batch sounds pretty cool. Their outfits look awesome. Mm -hmm. Got to turn this over and keep plugging away. Where is my bag too? How bad is how bad is my rustling? It's okay. It's not bad. Okay. Good, cause uh, I got this. I got this microphone here that shouldn't pick up too much of this. It's going down to the garbage pile. I like that bag two doesn't have any sub bags. I. Mm. The itty bitty bags, when you open up a bag and then you've got like five more tiny bags to open, that kind of drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's on it? What's on it this time equals hat check. Okay. Uh, Snowlena, Snowlena. Hey, Boone. First time viewer here. Snowlena, thanks for coming over. I think Snowlena is uh, someone. I met in the Brixie chat. Snowlena, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I think we met over in Brixie's chat. And uh, some exciting news there. We've got uh, some new people have been admitted. Some new platforms have been admitted to the Lego Ambassador Network just Ooh. recently. Just yeah. last week. Okay. And uh, we've got, let's see, Tricky Bricks is now a recognized Lego fan media. Congrats. Brixy is now recognized Lego fan media. Awesome. I hope I'm not giving away anyone's private announcements. It's been like a week, so I, I I'm pretty sure. Um, Brett, do you watch Emma Soros at all? I I believe I follow because I've I've heard the name. There are a lot of people have talked about her. So. Yeah, I feel like she has just kind of splashed on in just the last few months, maybe six months. Mm -hmm. And um, she has been accepted into the Lego Ambassador Network. Sweet. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Tan Jam says, Hi, Snowlena and Brad the Builder. Snowlena and Brad the Builder must be folks from the Brixie stream. Because uh, I certainly know Tan, Tan Jam is. Mm -hmm. I have a slight critique on this build so far. A slight critique? What is it? Yeah. So when you when you're building it upside down, like it wants you to keep adding things, the top here is not level. So you keep adding things and it like tear totters. Yeah. And uh, that's just kind of weird. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Notice. Anthony says I have a lot of the UCS sets, but the slave one eludes me. Almost bought it once at. Uh, a Lego store in New York City years ago, but I didn't want to fly back home with it. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I've, you know, I've been in that position. Um, uh, there was a probably I'm trying to think if there's any any big sets that I really that I saw somewhere and I really wanted to buy them, but I didn't because I was a long way from home. It may be that. Um, you know, the one time I got to go to Loplet and Billund, mm -hmm. uh, actually, I, I'm sorry, I went twice. We went to Loplet, right, Brett, or was that or no. not? No, okay, so it. yes, there was only one trip that I w was able to go to Loplet because uh, I didn't know about it when we did our trip, and it has since closed. So what? I had one, I had one shot at going. Oh man! Um, and uh, they had the big. Aqua Zone playset, you know, whatever that big like Aqua Zone playset with like the big blue transparent doors and like all the yellow, the big stuff and the big base plate. Um, 
the they had it and it was in the box it was sealed in the box and it wasn't it wasn't like a screaming deal the price they had on it but it certainly wasn't a, t a terrible deal and i really wanted that but i decided not to um i didn't really want to spend the money on it and i didn't really feel like i needed it and i certainly did not want to try to have to figure out how to get it back to oregon from denmark mm -hmm. um let's see cheryl says how much do you how much do you spend on legos a month i need to get another job to support my habit lol yeah how much do i spend on lego each month it, there are months that go by where i spend zero dollars on lego and there are months that go by where i spend a lot of money on lego i it, it really is um you know ever since i very first started in this hobby I've sort of always been on a journey of figuring out like what is the cheapest way I can build what I want to build. And so oftentimes I think that's probably why I got into mock building so early because, um, you know, uh, cause I just was not trying to spend a whole lot of money on brand new sets. Yeah. And that kind of has always been my MO, you know, I might buy a, a new set, like a new big awesome set a few times a year but i am far more frequently buying you know bags of bulk used brick to use on mocks or making deals to get people's collections stuff like that um it's hard for me to say a number monthly show because it, it varies so much brett do you do you have how would you answer that question um i'm afraid to get incriminated i think cheryl's throwing questions and comments out there just to get me in trouble so <laughs> um, I would say I, I spend a far less now that I've acquired a lot of bulk because I have things in my collection that I can use and and do things with. I spent a lot more at the beginning of the hobby. Yeah. Um, but lately, most of my stuff, again, is bulk or brick leg orders or right. that, that right. kind of stuff. So. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, TJ, TJ Riley Meadows, that's a cool, is that like a flying saucer in the... Uh... Ooh, that's cool. the the avatar there says how did you start making youtube videos how did i start making youtube videos i don't know i just started um i i i created a channel long before i was really putting much on it uh i have been into video production as a hobby and professionally mm -hmm. since around 2001 2002 and i think the very beginning of youtube was 2005 um so you know I, my very first experience like kind of creating a youtube account was really just a place to like store videos that i wanted to be able to share online um this was before you know this was before there was much of a presence of you know like subscribing to channels and you know producing for the algorithm and trying to get a you know subscribers i mean that was a thing that early but it was not a thing that like everyone was trying to do youtube for and i feel like that that really started to blow up around 2010 mm. i could be a little bit wrong about that but um i think uh my first I think I created my account in 2007. And then in about maybe late 2013, early 2014, I started watching Jang Bricks. And he was doing... This is a bummer how it shows you the parts you need on a previous page. So like at the beginning of step... I don't even know what step we're on. It's on step 21 and it's sub step 8. Mm -hmm. sub step sub step one two three four are on one page and five is on the next page yeah. so so you don't get the um you don't get the parts you need in a picture that actually is on the same page as where you're putting those parts on it's sort of strange but um and so then shortly after i started watching jing bricks I wanted to start a channel and I started a channel that was separate from this channel. 
this is actually the channel you're watching this on right now is my oldest channel. It is the channel that I that is tied to an account that I started in 2007. And um, but you know, I think around 2014 I started another channel and I called that Brick Replay because I had this idea for a, a toy store that I was going to open called Toy Replay and Brick Replay was going to be the little section of the store where you could, you know, dig through Lego parts and uh, and buy what you want. That never happened, so I started a YouTube channel instead. And then I called this channel Toy Replay for a while, the same name as that store that I hoped to open. Um, and then eventually I changed the name of this channel from Toy Replay to Boon Builds. Um, and I think my very, very original name of this channel was Bootleg Stan, which is like my pirate name. Yeah. Um, in college, I sang in a traveling a cappella group, and I said, you know, we got to the point in the concert where we were introducing ourselves, and I was like, hey, my name's Boone Langston, and a girl came up to me after the concert and said, did you say your name's Bootleg Stan? And I'm like, no, I didn't, but I'm going to hold on to that forever as my preferred pirate name. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Hunt said, at Dave Morgan, how much does Boone weigh? Why why would Dave know the answer to that question? Um, my weight fluctuates? I weigh less than 300 pounds. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that. Um, Same here. I weigh something, but yeah, same same as Brett. Yeah, some something less than three hundred pounds. <laughs> that was funny, Brett. All right, I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, Brickham's Den says time, time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Brickham. You're awesome. Hey, we're gonna be on for another hour and fifteen minutes. So if you have time to pop back in, please do. Yeah. Or tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be on from two to two to five, I think. Two to two to four and maybe to five. Tanjam says, You shall forever be bootleg stand to me. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Dave, uh someone they're saying awesome to Dave for something, but I can't see what Dave said. That's awesome, Dave. Dave Morgan. Ugh, oh, sorry, friend. What did Dave say? Dave. We lost it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what Dave said. Uh, all chilled out. Hey guys, can I have a shout out? Ready? Three, two, one. Shout out! out! <laughs> oh, Aubrey says Dave is just awesome. Thank you, Aubrey. Thank you, Dave. Dave is awesome. So glad to have Dave a part of us here. Braden Hughes is here. Braden says, will you be on tomorrow for Re Revenge of the Fifth? We will. We do not anticipate. We've only got a couple hours today and mm -hmm. actually only about an hour and 15 minutes left of those couple hours today. We do not anticipate that we're going to finish this build today. So we will be back. Uh, same channel one hour earlier tomorrow. So we'll be on at 2 p.m. Pacific. And I don't know what time that is in your time zone, but uh, you could go probably find a converter somewhere. So, yeah, Braden, we certainly will be back. WGJL Builds is here. Revenge of the Fifth. Nice. It could be Revenge of the Sixth. We'll see. Snowlena says, got my first real Star Wars set yesterday on May the 4th. The new R2-D2. I'm a recent Star Wars convert thanks to Tan Jam. Yes. Yeah. Tan Jam converting the plebes to Star Wars. Shoot, I'll miss tomorrow live. Oh, that's all right, Cheryl. Thanks for being here with us today. And uh, if you're not with us tomorrow, we're going to assume that uh, you've got something really, really important to do. Hey, we just broke 80 live viewers. Thank you all so much for being here. We really appreciate you coming over to Boone Builds. If you've just joined us, I keep pointing the wrong direction. I got my buddy Brett here, and we are both building. We're both in our respective homes building our, uh, our UCS Slave Ones. Boba Fett. Boba Fett's 
notorious ship. The one that looks like a lamp shade. Lamp cover. What was oh, it? a lamp? A lamp shade? Um, a street lamp cover. That was kind of the inspiration for the shape. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I see that. So. I see that. Let's see. Brickham's Den said, I wouldn't leave this stream if you paid me. Well, maybe if you paid me, but that's the only way. Oh, what was he saying? Oh, maybe he was saying goodbye to somebody else. Oh. All right. All right maybe you know, he was saying goodbye to somebody else. hanging out and building with us, which is kind of cool. He's building something else. But... Uh, Rick is? Yep. Awesome. Keeping it in theme. Awesome. Hey, uh, Rick, I watched one of your videos about like something with something with Jurassic Park, I think, and it was hilarious, man. Y'all yeah. go check out Rick, uh, check out Brickham's Den. Um, he's just he's just got. A, I hope you don't mind me saying this. You've got this great like kind of dry sense of humor that uh, that I love and and uh, identify with. So it's we'll have uh, we'll have Rick on here uh, sometime soon. Ba -ba -ba. Mm -hmm. Find a good opportunity for that. I um, for the for the folks that are like, you know, how do I, how do I get on Boone's stream? How do I become a guest? It, I've there's a application form at boonbuilds.com uh, for my old thing, but it would still come to me, and I could consider it. Uh, but largely, it's just like my buddies. You know, it's like the people that I've had the opportunity to make contact with and mostly my moderators are that too so it's just like you know it's the people that are um the people that are already my friends that yeah. i sort of do that with and then and then i i sort of rely on those people to fill me in on like who are the people that i need to get connected with and that's so it's kind of an organic thing so i hope uh i hope i haven't offended anybody if i haven't had you in my stream yet but there's always possibility for that in the future, and um, and if we're if we're hanging out and we're getting to know each other in different ways, then uh, there's a good chance that that'll happen. Okay, let's see. Isaiah says, "Happy Happy May Fourth, everyone. May the Fourth be with you always." Isaiah, Brett is done with that much. I'm almost there. I'm right behind you, Brett. You caught up to me. See, I told you. I'm. I'm. Mm. I'm uh, this is really cool. All these. All these snot pieces and, and a lot of it connects to this base but a lot of yeah, the way it the, slope, the, way that, the way that works is great i've got to adjust my mic here because i'm i'm starting to I'm starting to feel like i've got a kink in my back and it's because i'm trying mm -hmm. to lean over to that microphone i think we're good now yeah the way this all goes together here i'm going to show you guys so that you don't miss out on it mm -hmm. i'm gonna i'm gonna full screen this real quick because this is cool solo layout um lego cat creator says i need to go buy mando fans thank you for being here with us this whole thing has snot bricks on both sides and it actually like clips into the back of here like this and uh oh it's so cool and it lines right up with this down here that's rad mm -hmm. all right going back to this view Biscar Bricks says, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank, but I believe the brick separator has eyes uh, <laughs> that has eyes is from Tricky Brick and might have a name. Yeah, it's, uh, what is it, Clippy? Yep. No, that's from, it's Clicky. Clicky, there we go. Because Clippy yep. is from Microsoft and Click Clicky is from Tricky Bricks. Yeah, I've got this one that's a little bit sleepy. Yeah, yeah, a sleepy <laughs> Clicky. And this one, he's just going to, uh, Classic Brick says, Boone, do you know this reference? Same Boone time, same Boone channel. Like, like Batman, the old school Batman. Same bat time, same bat channel. I think okay. every every other thing that has referenced that is making a reference to, to the old school Batman. Maybe it's even the serials. It might be it might have been before the sixties version. Clicky, oh man, yeah, everybody look. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Oh, is Holly leaving us? Holly says, got to run, guys. Need to pick up a kid. Sweet. Um, all right. Captain Chris Briggs says, hey, Boone. Captain Chris Briggs? 
Captain yep. Chris, did you used to be Captain Rex? Or are you someone else? I'm opening bag three. Excellent. I'm in bag three right now. Aubrey says Clicky might make an appearance on Lego Masters 2. Interesting. Interesting. That would be fun. I saw it in pictures, so it should be. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, Captain Chris. No, I'm fairly new. Okay, cool. Well, well, welcome, welcome, Captain Chris. Samir, any Lego Batman fans here? Oh, of course, me. Of course, I'm a Lego Batman fan. Who else? Who in the chat is a Lego Batman fan? I've got a... Uh, how many Batmobiles do I have up there? Let me count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25... I have 25 Batmobiles. Uh, most of them are official sets. There's a handful of you. them. What? There's one behind you. 26. Yeah. Um, most of them are official sets, and some of them are mocks. Um, and uh, I have a handful that have yet to be built. So uh, really, the only things, the only Lego sets I collect are Batmobiles mm -hmm. and Slave Ones. Um, and so, and that's what we're building today here is the UCS Slave One. And of course I come up, you know, I come upon other things that are cool to me. You know, I've got the, got the mystery machine right there. I've got the elf clubhouse right there. I've got, uh, my Galador figures are over here. Mm -hmm. This is my first X-Wing from 1999. The, uh, the X-Wing that came out that year. This was the, uh, Coliseum, but it's my rebuild of the... Castello Fortificato. Um, so, you know, I've got a handful of other things, but but I I fly... My, my Lego collection sort of intentionally flies pretty fast and loose with what I keep and what I don't keep. Either to, you know, kind of get rid of and let go to another Lego fan or, um, you know, to uh, trade for something cool or to take apart and put in my bulk for... <coughs> Lego uh, mock projects. Um, that's kind of what I do. Trevor asked where we got our sets. Mine I got in a trade, and it was built, so I took it apart. So now this is my first time building it. Yeah, I got mine in a trade as well, um, but it was a number of years ago. I think it was probably very shortly. I remember getting a pretty good deal on it, so I think it was. It must have been very shortly after it was discontinued. Mm -hmm. Um, and I did not look at what the value, I did not look at what the current value is before I cut the tape today because I didn't want to know because this is one that I have wanted to, oh, I meant the first sticker. This is one that I have wanted to build and have wanted to have assembled up on my shelf. I was able to and, blow up uh, the sticker because it was already on there, which is nice. Oh yeah, that's right. You're, you're going to pick up time on me on stickers because, because you don't have to put them on. So I wanted to show this um, the step right after what Boone's on. These two pieces you put here, kind of in the bottom part of the ship, and they don't attach by any studs. They just sit in there until you get the plates. What? I was like, hey, how do I not hear any clicks? No, they just sit right there. That is very strange. No, I'm applying. Like, I'm applying my sticker. So you have to. You have to entertain everybody in. Uh, I will entertain here. I'm. I'm adding the next solo part, mode like, for another to moment. Hold it together, these guys. Okay. Yeah, there yeah. we go. All right. I have applied my first sticker piece. Oh, boom! Right there. This thing's gonna be big. Yeah. Uh, the box is big. I never really spent much time thinking about how big the model would be. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty big. But you got space to put it up. That's, that's good. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I got all these new shelves. I showed that in a in a studio video, and I've been taking footage. You guys, I've been taking little bits of footage of the other things, the other progress I've been making in my studio. Mm -hmm. But um, it's going. It's been going really slowly. So I know a handful of people every ask me every now and then, when is part two of your studio redo coming out? And uh, I just have to keep saying I'm just not I'm just not done yet, so it continues to be some day in the future. <laughs> uh, this goes here. 
Oh, I didn't. I, I failed to put a couple pieces in. What goes in there? This. And yeah, it's amazing how some of these pieces just hang on by like a single stud until you get them locked in with another piece, you know? Yeah, I was noticing the same thing. All right, I just put, I'm just now putting in those two pieces that you said are like loose pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I've ever done that on a Lego set before. No, me either. It's pretty, pretty wild. And cool, I guess. A little blue. Dark blue brick hidden right here underneath the gangway. I thought about taking it out and keeping it. Oh, yeah. You ever Replacing do that? it with something else? Yeah, do you ever do that with that? Um, you know, I, I don't know that I ever have. I, I suppose I've thought about it. Mm -hmm. And like, why would you do that? Because you could put something much more, you could put like a much more common color in there yeah. and then, and then have a free little, uh, have a free little dark blue brick. Uh, Nick Diaz says, Boone, who is your favorite Lego Batman minifigure? Lego Batman minifigure. What's my favorite one? What is my favorite Batman minifigure? I think zebra Batman is pretty awesome. I had one for uh, a short season of my life. It was a Comic-Con 2019 exclusive. And I was able to get my hands on one at Comic-Con that year. It was the only time I've ever been to San Diego Comic-Con. Um, and uh, I was really ecstatic about it. But like I said, I'm, I'm really conservative. Well, not really, but I try to be as conservative as possible with the number of different things that I collect. And so I just, I decided that I'm not a Lego Batman collector, um, but my friend Ryan called Brick Bat Dad on Instagram is actively in pursuit of owning every Lego Batman figure ever. That's just not something I aspire to. So I, uh, I connected Zebra Batman to my good buddy Ryan. When he talks about that, he that's what he built. I built that. It's no joke. That's all he ever does. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, and it's not that he can't build other things. He just yeah. uh, he just chooses to stick to Batman stuff. But I felt like the whole Lego Batman movie really brought out the possibility of doing a bat pirate ship and a bat spaceship and like all these other fun things. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and you know that's an interesting thing is that um, it, I think the Batman movie, the Lego Batman movie, emphasized that. But with so many decades, I think I think nineteen ninety, uh, I think uh, twenty nineteen was the eightieth anniversary of Batman. With that many decades of comic book stories, there have been plenty of kind of ridiculous bat vehicles, you know, um, and. Uh, and and a lot of them are canon to the comic books, um, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. And Brickbat Dad has been building some really incredible bat computer modules, and they're built completely out of Lego pieces. They he is a purist. He is a hardcore, hardcore. He is a hardcore purist. Um, Mike says. Uh, why does he keep asking Dave questions? Uh, do you have a Mr. Gold? No, I do not have a Mr. Gold. Hey, Boone, it's been a while. How has things been going? Kai. Hey, Kai. Welcome back. Things have been going good. I've been having fun. Brett and I are building the Slave One here. It's, uh, I've been enjoying this build so far. Me too. I'm trying to um, make sure I... Very happy with anything. this um, maroon color. I don't see any like color variations in it. Oh, sometimes that can be a problem with this color. Yeah. Um, does that bother you a lot, Brett? Color variations? Yeah. Um, I mean, sometimes you kind of have to forgive it with the maroon color, but it can be annoying. Um, I built the the lime green uh technic 
Lamborghini. Mm-hmm. And I built it. And then a bunch of people were complaining online about the color inconsistencies. And I was like, huh, I didn't notice any color inconsistencies. And I went back and I looked and sure enough, there was a decent number of parts that that looked like just a little bit like paler lime yeah. green. And um, it occurred to me then that it must not bother me much because I didn't even notice it on that build. And it certainly was true. So Samir says, I've wanted the Lego Taj Mahal set, but it's too expensive and a hard to find set. I built the Taj Mahal. Uh, you've, you've got a new Taj Mahal coming, Samir. Uh, it's smaller. The the Taj Mahal that's coming very soon. Wait, did the, have you heard of that, Brett? Yeah, yeah. It, it's okay. It's uh, it's there've been pictures out there. Is it is it uh, now that I've said it, I'm not 100 percent sure if that's public information or not. Um, if that's not public information, I'm sorry, I let it slip. Um, it, there have been leaks. I'll say it that way. There have been leaks that a new Taj Mahal is coming. I don't post leaks here on Boon Builds, but uh, but yeah, it's going to be smaller, so probably more affordable and won't take up as much uh, footprint in your house as the old one. Yeah. The old one did. Uh, chew, chew bacon. Chewbacca, Chewbacca, K two eight says I'm saving up for the blacksmith house set. Uh, that's a great set. I have recently become interested in that set, and it is not available at the moment. So I might try to get that one when I'm able, and I don't know when that is going to be. But it is a beautiful looking set, and when it first came out, I didn't have an idea for why I would want it. Mm-hmm. And I have since had a fun idea for what I might do with it if I'm able to get my hands on it. So I probably will try when the time is right. That's good. Did you get that one, Brett? Uh, I That was actually part of um, the trade with my brother-in-law to get this set. I bought him that set. But it hasn't even shipped yet. So I bought that maybe two weeks ago. Oh. And it hasn't shipped, so... And, and it was available at that time? It was, but then now it's unavailable. So. Yeah. And that came out, did that come out like, uh, how long ago do you think that came out? Six months? Less? Was it? Was that a beginning of the year set? I feel like it was the end of last year, end of 20. Yeah, Maybe. so like a like a kind of a Christmas time release? I think it's slightly before Christmas, but yeah. All right. Um, Mike says, Boone, thoughts on Bad Batch set? I haven't taken a close look at it. I haven't taken a close look at it. We talked a little bit about Bad Batch earlier. Um, I haven't started watching yet. Um, I do think the characters are a really cool looking take on, like, you know, Clone Trooper era kind of uniforms. So I'm excited to see what it's all about, but. Uh, I am, I am a novice on knowing much about the Bad Batch. When you watch Clone Wars, you'll you'll learn more about them. Maybe awesome. you'll appreciate it more. Cool. Sounds great. Sounds sounds like something I should really do. <laughs> yeah, Aubrey says I can't find the black ship, uh, black the blacksmith shop either. Sorry, Aubrey, it'll be back. It'll be back. Nick says, bye, Boone. Nick, thank you so much for being with us. It was awesome. Um, Mike says, Boone, NHL fan. Uh, I, I don't spend I don't spend a lot of time watching NHL. So I've got a I've got a handful of things that I'm very interested in and a lot of other things that just are you know, I don't really spend any time knowing much about. So um, uh, Chew Bacon says, Boone, you should have your own show. I do. It's right here <laughs> <laughs> on Boone Builds. Uh, but thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, I just dropped my brick separator on the floor. Oh, boy. And I don't have my, I don't have my grabber. Okay. We've got a little bit less than an hour left today. Oh, 
Lego yeah. Movie Lego Movie Three or Lego Batman Movie Two? What? Oh, are they going to happen? I don't know. I thought you were asking my favorite, and I was like, I, not, neither of those movies have come out yet. Um, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. I I would love a Lego Batman Movie Two. I'm I don't know how well it did at the box office. I kind of wonder if some of the deals with Universal Studios are going to change, um, you know, have an impact on what we get from Lego in film in the next few years. I have, you know, all of those, did all of those come from Warner Brothers? I'm, I believe so. I'm picturing I think, I think so. Lego Movie, Lego Movie 2, Lego Batman Movie. Um, I think those all came from Warner Brothers, and Lego has been making some deals with Universal Studios lately, so I don't know what we're going to see. <laughs> Lego creator said, hi, everyone. I did the unspeakable and dyed milk blue. Oh, that's a that's an appropriate thing to do on on, uh, Only on, today. May, on May the 4th. Mike Hunt says, how is Will Arnett? I thought he was hilarious. We had a lot of fun with him. Classic Bricks says favorite batman actor or favorite star wars character favorite batman actor or favorite star wars character i'll always have a special place in my heart for michael keaton those were the batman movies that came out when i was a kid mm -hmm. um so you know i don't know i'll always kind of regard him as my favorite though i i'll admit perhaps not like the best I think Christian Bale was pretty great. Um, and then Star Wars character. Is that what they said? Star Wars yep. character. My favorite my favorite Star Wars character. Can anybody guess? Guess who my favorite Star Wars character is in the live chat? Okay, well, that's happening. I'll tell you my favorite character. Yeah, go ahead, Brett. Darth Vader. Bum, 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 bum. Um, he's like the ultimate bad guy. Um, you know, back before there were um, the prequels and then now the other spin-off movies, I thought that his like character arch of how he was good and then became bad, he went to temptation and went to the dark side and all that kind of stuff. He was redeemed. I thought that that was a great character. Kind of I was just like, there's hope. It was really cool. Oh no, I have spare parts up there. Ashitaka says Obi Wan. Nope. Hello there. Uh, Mike says Chewbacca. Scott says Chewie. Lego Cat Creator says Ch uh, Boba Fett. Chew Bacon says Boba Fett. PJ Coppa says Boba Fett. Classic Bricks says Boba Fett. Absolutely. My favorite character from Star Wars is Boba Fett and has been <laughs> since. Oh, probably about 1995. It was a big resurgence of... I was really... I was too young for... Um, I think I missed something. Hold on. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> Whoops. Was it the gray... The dark gray 2 by 3 No? Yep. Oh, you're already, you're already past that, huh? Um, I, was, I was too young to have, like, really had any of the first wave of Star Wars toys in the late 70s and 80s mm -hmm. but i loved star wars and in 1995 there was a big resurgence of star wars toys and um i i went to a friend's birthday party and he had some star wars characters like on the birthday cake and they were like oh. like his mom had bought like a little set of like like little just kind of plastic figures and it was a bunch of characters and then each kid in the birthday party got to go home with one of those figures and mine was boba fett and i was like oh this dude looks so rad and so then i just started collecting boba fett stuff and i've got like two boxes in the attic of non-lego boba fett stuff that i still have okay. um and so he has been my favorite since the mid 90s and that is why slave one is one of the few Lego related collections that I still maintain. Mm -hmm. But yeah, hey, Vader's yeah. Vader's rad, Brett. I do have some spare parts left over, but I'm gonna chalk it up to 
they probably fell in the wrong bag when I was taking things apart. So I'm going to move on to bag four. Okay. You don't have any like unexplained gaps along your like hmm. sloped sides here. No. Cause that's where, that's where those parts would go. But so yeah, they must be from a different, from a different thing. Oh, what have I done? This does look really, really good. I did, I did something wrong again. Man. Hey, another, another brick separator magically appeared. You remember how I said I dropped my brick separator? Was there a brick separator in this set? Yes. Okay. <laughs> then it, then it wasn't magic. Cheryl says, my son's name is Kyler. I call him Kylo when he's angry. <laughs> nice. Love it. Aubrey says, I love the Ecto-1. Coronado Blacksmith will be here next week. Uh, B, oh, awesome. Great. That is awesome. Oh, wait. So does that mean that it is available again? Did you just go and purchase it? Kai says, Boone, do you like Lego architecture at all? You know... I had this idea that I would start building the Lego architecture sets that represent places that I've actually been in real life. Mm -hmm. um, and apparently I'm not that excited about it because I haven't tried to start doing that yet. So I don't know. We'll see. Brett, did you get your one by two gray slopes put into the uh, sides here? Yep. You got those? Okay. Well. Yeah, I don't see anything yeah. missing, so it looks no, like the part yeah. of the next bag. Okay, cool. Here we go. We are on I'm on the bag four. Me too. You already you already dumped out your bag four? I just come to that. Corey is saying goodbye. Alrighty, back to work. Happy this is the May, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. Cornado. You are always so fun to have around. Um, <laughs> Mike says, "Can we have a moment of silence for? Uh, can we have a moment of silence for the youngling in Revenge of the Sith?" Uh, we'll do that tomorrow on Revenge of the Fifth. We'll have a moment of silence, and then uh, he says, "Who is your favorite clone? Who's my favorite clone?" I don't know. I'll say. Um, Boba Fett. <laughs> That's easy, actually. I forgot he was a clone. Is he? Do, do, do. I thought he was. Oh yes, he was. Sorry, I was thinking of Jango. Yeah, I right. Isn't he? Um, like Jango Fett agreed to yep. let them clone him if he could raise one of the clones as a son. Yeah, an unaltered um, version. Yep. And that's why. Um, that's why all of the clones have Tamora Morrison's voice or someone doing a voice, you know, similar to Tamora Morrison, who played Jango Fett in, uh, in in the Empire, uh, in in Empire, uh, no, in uh, Attack of the Clones, and he played Boba Fett in Mandalorian. Ben Khan, hello. And I believe he has done... Hey, Ben, how you doing? I believe uh, Tamora has done some of the clone voices in, like, video games, but I don't think he did the voice in the cartoons. I, I don't know. But it is someone, you know, it is someone trying to sound like him because he's supposed to be the clone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, do. All right. Yes, everyone, say hi to Ben Khan. Ben Khan is here. PJ Kappa says, bye, Boone. I will be back tomorrow. Thanks a lot, PJ. Look forward to seeing you then. It's going to be super cool. Mm -hmm. All right. How's the... Uh, How's the volume, everyone in the chat? How's the volume of the background music? Dave, Should what we do you take think? a? What's that? Ask Dave. What do you think? Should I uh, should I turn it up? Turn it down? Should I pause it for a while and give Dave Morgan a break from the background music? <laughs> Sorry, Dave. I hope you don't feel like I'm picking on you with that. I just 
I, I like you and I respect you and I want to give you what you want, but 80%, 80% of pe- respondents to my poll last week said they wanted background music. He did give us super <laughs> chat. Maybe we can give him 10 minutes of my music. Dave Morgan said uh, the volume is fine as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Boone, the voices of the Clone War is D. Bradley Baker. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of the, you know, the from the films to the animated series, the voices are sometimes the same. And I think it's been more common that they're pulling in people who were voices uh, in Clone Wars to to play those actors or to play those characters in the live action. Um, that happened with Bo-Katan and... Uh, I believe it is happening with, oh, his name escapes me. What is the, um, what is the, what is the name of the blue guy? You guys are going to kill me. I just can't think of his name right now. It's like stream brain. Yeah. The blue guy. Someone will, someone in the chat is going to know. They'll be like, oh yeah, that's so-and-so. And as soon as I see it, as soon as I see it, I'll recognize it. Who's the blue guy from Rebels, and uh, he's coming, and they've cast they've cast for, I think it's the Ahsoka series that's coming, and they've cast the same guy, uh, Thrawn. Yep, Thrawn. Uh, Admiral Thrawn, is it? Is it? Um, what was Pal? Uh, not Palpatine. Um, who was the old guy in uh, A New Hope? Um, Tarkin, Grand Moff Tarkin. Um, so I think maybe Thrawn is, I was going to say Moff Thrawn, but that doesn't sound right. So it must be, oh, Grand, yeah, Grand Admiral Thrawn. I was kind of mixing up the two. Bum, 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 bum. I'm excited to see that. I um, read the book a long time ago, or listened, or listened to it, I should say. But it's an interesting character. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. All right. So what's happening out there, folks? In the live chat, what have you been up to today on May the 4th? We didn't start streaming until the afternoon our time, so... uh, What kinds of cool things have people been doing? What has your May the 4th been doing for you? Oh, Snowlena says, I like this stream layout. Thank you. We, uh, you know, I don't know. We tried. Ooh, Classic Bricks. Emperor Palpatine impression. Can I do an Emperor Palpatine impression? All right. Uh, I said at the beginning of the stream that I would do Star Wars impressions if uh, if I got super chats. So next next super chat, and it doesn't have to be from Classic Bricks. Does anyone, any amount, and I'll try a Palpatine impression. <laughs> uh, do we both uh, at the same time? Matthew T says I've been designing a robot challenge for the Lego Ideas robotics competition that's cool that sounds awesome Ashitaka says selling Lego and playing new Pokemon Snap Tuesdays are my off days cool Brickham's Den well as Brett mentioned earlier I'm building Boba Fett's helmet along with you guys today it's a great build so far that's awesome I've got the helmet too up there on the shelf I've got I have at least let's see now I'm going to assume that we'll finish this in the next two days. I will have one, two, three other Slave One ships that I still need to build and uh, a helmet, the Boba Fett helmet. Hey, there we go. Oh, Snowlena says, I don't know what a Palpatine is, but here you go. Oh, that well, for not knowing what this is, Snowlena, uh, $5, let's see, is that $5 a a five dollars is that five dollars australia or five dollars i don't know what a dollar five is but thank you very much for that i appreciate it 
And um, here we go. I'll do the best I can. It would be something like, um, uh, uh, what does he say in that scene at the end of um, of, Empire, uh, of Return of the Jedi? He's like, good, good. <laughs> let the hate, let the hate flow through you. What was yours, Brett? I just was going to say, do it. That, that's a meme. That do it. <laughs> Young Skywalker. Uh, well, what does he say about Young Skywalker? Um, yo, the <laughs> I don't know what he says. The the force is strong with you, Young Skywalker. Leave us. <laughs> uh, anyway. Execute order sixty six. Does he execute order? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let I don't know what the line is. Let the order sixty six begin. <laughs> That's not it. That's not it. Um, Holly says I'm back. Snowlena, thank you so much for that five dollar super chat. That was awesome. Uh, I'll give you another one. Here's uh here's my best salacious crumb. Ready? Uh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Wait. <laughs> Is that sort of? <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, rest in peace, Palpatine impression. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The dark side. I, it has been way too long since I turned a page. I need to get building again. Mm. Oh, here's some here's some cool pieces. This is where I'm gonna catch up with you, Brett. Peace, peace. Well, there's like ten stickers peace. coming up that I already have dinner. No. <laughs> well, that's maybe a good I'll question. just maybe I'll build it without without um without stickers and then I'll put them on later. Okay. No, I can't do that. I gotta put the stickers on. What kind of service would I be doing, anyone? Uh, yeah, Snowlena says I've seen the memes. Good. Good. You're, you're, you're something about the dark side, young Skywalker. I don't know what he says. I'm missing a piece. Found it. Mm -hmm. uh, Brett, what was the most pieces you've ever like been missing in in an official set um everything that i've missed has been user error so yeah. eventually i find it um yeah. i was missing one in the in the gardens right yeah. here and uh, realized that it was in another part i got used there's like wrong color kind of situation so I've been pretty lucky. I haven't really missed anything big. <laughs> Have you? Um, I, you know, I feel like one time when I was building um, Benny's spaceship, 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 there was one of the big wheels was like malformed. But hmm. I don't believe I've ever truly been missing a piece in uh, in any official Lego set. Hey, Brickham's Den. Brickham's Den. Thank you, Rick. Brickham's Den, Brickham's Den, Canada five dollars. Is it is it Canadian dollars? Yep. Canadian dollars five. Thank you so much. He says you're watching uh, on the spot Star Wars impressions with Boone builds. All right, Boone. How about a little Jar Jar? Um, man, I don't know if I can do Jar Jar or not. Misa, what is he? What would he say? Like, what's a what's a Jar Jar? Line. Misa got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, yeah, that was good. There, Brett did it. Misa so, got a bad feeling about this. Okay. I don't know. I think if, if you don't do it, then I get the money. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Um, right. It's been a long time since I've seen episode one. And come on, Rick, that's the worst. Jar Jar, that's the worst impression to ask me to do. He just going for clickbait. He wants people to. Yeah. That guy. 
that that guy yeah. <laughs> uh thank you so much no oh yeah holly says five dollars i pay you to never do jar jar again great thank you so much <laughs> i can uh, for, forever i can reference nope holly holly gave me five dollars once to never do it again <laughs> um but thank you holly and thank you rick uh for your lovely wonderful donations to the stream let's see okay i'm making some progress here this is, hey, this is happening. what's that this thing we're building the big yeah. bumper of a cadillac or something yeah 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 it's like uh jake sadovich's uh pedal car oh yeah um can i turn that off from here carl says i had a wrong piece in the ecto does that mean does does wrong in quotation marks also mean user error or did you actually have a wrong piece i'm gonna catch up on brett i'm gonna catch up to brett nope, nope. Brett, nope. what do you want um, I'm do it right here. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna start putting on two pieces at a time. And go fast. Gotta go fast. Lego Masters fast. Did it's like when I'm building the bridge with Mark. That the steps. No, started. I've done something wrong. What did I? What? Did you realize that the step number started over? That's kind of weird. Because it's a sub model. Oh. Um. Like this whole thing is a sub model. That's good. Yeah, you can see it at the beginning of bag four. We'll get back to the original numbering at some point. Okay. But I've got I've I've got something wrong here, and I don't know what it is. Mm. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I put that right there, and I had to take off these big pieces. Oh no, I'm never gonna catch Brett. Never gonna catch Brett. Um. 36 bricks two dollar super sticker a few minutes ago did we miss we missed 36 uh, bricks two dollar super sticker did you see oh, it i do see it oh yep. look here it is Sorry. two dollar super sticker from 36 bricks 36 bricks sweet there you go buddy there's the two dollar super sticker that uh somehow slipped by us and now three dollar two dollar super sticker a few minutes ago plus three dollars chewy yeah, I'll I'll give you a chewy. <laughs> there, that's the best I can do. My son's over here saying, "Brett, do it, Dad, do it." There you go. <laughs> Lego cat creator said one dollar Yoda no cash right now <laughs> type dollar into a chat um, it's like sort of a what's it's like a subscript like there's like superscript and subscript it's like a sub sub chat um, Yoda I can do Yoda I can do Yoda Can you? I can. <laughs> I can do Yoda. Yoda better. Yoda, Yoda better. I'll uh, I'll do Yoda in a little bit. I need to warm. I need to. I need to think about it. Mm. <laughs> That's all you get. That's all you get right now. Uh, mm. Mm. I can do. Listen, you guys. I can do a killer. Yoda shadow puppet with my hands. Um, I don't know how to show that on live stream. Maybe I'll figure that out someday. And I'll do my Yoda shadow puppet for you guys. I worked on it for a long time when I was like 23. <laughs> save that for the, for the patrons. Yeah, I'll save that for the patrons. Uh, <laughs> Holly said that's pretty good for a pretend dollar. Okay, cool. Um unserious yoda mm. <laughs> i don't know everyone told me not to stroll on that beach mm. there that's your unserious yoda listen i firmly believe that 
bad lip reading is the best thing on the internet. Mm. Um, Seagull, stop it now. Bushes of love, a couple of Star Wars ones, and I'll tell you what, I'm gonna. This may be an unpopular opinion, but the bad lip reading High School Musical is phenomenal. I don't think I've seen that one. It, 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 have you have you watched High School Musical? Uh, I'm not gonna admit to that. I believe, I believe that for anyone who hasn't seen High School Musical the level of enjoyability of the high school musical bad lip reading would would increase if you go ahead and watch high school musical first okay um i have a, a six-year-old and nine-year-old daughters so that's or i could just say children that's um that's my excuse for having watched the film um but it, the film itself is you know a lovely i i find it an enjoyable movie for the whole family to watch but the bad lip reading is <laughs> is so funny we we quote it all the time um even when my daughters aren't around danny and i will quote um we'll, we'll quote the the high school musical bad lip reading huh. okay i feel like something big's about to happen i got this done um we're gonna put this together here soon let's see uh la Last of the last of the canoe news said, "I love bad lip reading. I love Shmoyoho too." When Ryan sings about Daryl the Pony of Love, yeah, for, is waiting for a gifted young rider. <laughs> it's so hilarious. Oh, oh man, uh, more Muppets, please, yes. What did that what did that come from? Are we hoping for I watch Seagull stop it now at seven a at seven AM in the morning? Um do, do you think we will get a Kermit the Frog minifigure ever? I want one so bad, if not ever a thing, I would start an army. Uh yeah. Um I'm really hoping that's a thing. I actually commented that. I I did an Ask Me Anything on Instagram yesterday. Hmm. And someone said, um, what like what you know, what IPs have not happened in lego yet that you would like to happen and i said um uh muppets because uh you know we've just gotten some uh sesame street folks there from and, that, and that's jim henson so i think it could be reasonable to get some muppets and man uh a kermit the frog minifigure miss piggy minifigure those would be those would be money fozzy bear couldn't you imagine a fozzy bear minifigure? on the, the looney tunes which had a ton of new molds in it that gives kind of hope for that kind of thing so. yeah yep 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 okay <laughs> yeah classic bricks uh molly says i want more muppet minifigs absolutely bricks and tens don't fall asleep don't fall asleep oh don't fall asleep don't fall asleep i can't do the bad lip reading yoda mm. Mm. don't fall asleep don't fall asleep because their their yoda doesn't sound exactly like yoda but um but anyway uh, i'm not digging this song hey. I feel like I've used a song that sounds just like this from uh, the YouTube Creator Studio. I've done something wrong, you guys. What have I done? Uh, okay, I used a I used a one by two inverted slope instead of a one by three inverted slope. That was an easy fix. Um, Molly makes stuff up. Rolf. Oh yeah, I can sort of do Rolf. Mm. What it, does does Rolf have a song that he sings? Did anyone watch Maggie Simpson in The Force Awakens from its nap? What? Oh, The Force Awakens from its nap. Nope, I didn't watch it. Was it funny? Hope it was. All right. Um, this front piece with my already applied stickers, which is nice. Like I said, very grateful that a perfectionist put these on. Wants, 
Maybe I've heard this song in Brixie's stream or something. A Lego Ideas Muppet set would be epic. Yeah, and it would be epic along with the other 57 things that get approved. Um, listen, I was I was trying to stave off my cynicism about uh, about Lego Ideas when like 26 came through like six months ago and and then like 36 came through, I don't know, three months ago or whatever and now we're up to like 50 what did i say 57 57 i i am now gonna go ahead and jump on board with the people who have said that uh ideas may need to be revamped uh either ended or revamped how it works and my opinion for fixing it is uh my opinion for fixing it is not a popular one but i believe that uh make people pay make people pay make people put in their credit card numbers to as a pre-order for the ideas they want to support hmm. i mean i think that i think that'll solve the problem and it's been done that's how that's how um kickstarter works it's how uh is it hasbro pulse that's how some of the stuff they've done works i don't i don't see why like it seems to me like a no-brainer um what if it to, up to ten thousand or a number, and then you had to put in so many pre-orders? Like you just get ten thousand likes. So okay, so like if they're if they they in they insert another um another tier yeah that you have they like they insert one more step that you have to reach between getting to ten thousand mm -hmm. and um and 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 you know going before Lego, um, you know, for consideration. And that's, that's getting, you know, getting a thousand, I don't know, getting a, getting 5,000 people to put in their credit card number and say, I understand this is not, um, I understand this is not a sale, but I, but that, uh, how would it be? It would be like, I understand this is not a sale, but that, I am supporting the, you know, I'm supporting this set if and when it goes to production or something like that. Yeah, it could be a little I, bit I, when you have like parts that would need to be made. So who knows if Lego would even do that? Um, if there's IP involved, um, a lot of things get reworked from Lego. So like it could be set as a minifig scale, and they they choose to go micro with it or the opposite direction. So. Hey Brett, I got to a spot here where. It's this thing, and I'm putting it on here. Yep. But it but it seems like this is like just hanging out out here. Is that right, or did I miss something? Um, it should be it should be hanging out. It's gonna have something else attached to it. Later. Okay. That the 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 one side of the one of the two by four plate hangs over. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I mean, the, the back should be flush. The bottom of this thing. Right. Yeah, I, okay. That makes hey, sense I saw Ezra in the chat a little bit ago. Say hi. Ezra in the chat. And we've got 20 minutes left of this. What do you think of that? 20 minutes left. Yeah, and I actually might stop at 55, folks. I'm going to see if I can get through this bag. This is bag four. Oh, shoot. I don't know if we're, I don't know how many hours this is going to take us tomorrow. I need to do a little bit less chatting. But we'll see. We will see how it goes. Samir says, Boone, how is your Magic School Bus set coming along? It is, uh, I don't know, 4,100, something like that. Um, just, you know, 100 or two over 4,000. But part of watching... You know, I, I started that back at the very end of August or the beginning of September, and we've had two reviews since then, and it's just been, like, a little bit absurd. So I don't know. I'm just kind of left feeling like, how much energy do I want to put into it? I don't know. Holly knows how hard it is. I don't know. I don't know. I would love it. I think it would be cool. Do I, like, if I end up getting to 10,000 and I'm in there with... 75 other sets and they're gonna pick 
um, you know, two. Mm -hmm. Do I feel like the Magic School Bus is going to be one of them? I don't know. So that has sort of led me to a little bit of slowed... What's the right word? A, a bit of slowed uh, uh, energy toward moving that thing along. Holly said, yeah, it's hard. At least for some of us, we can't all be Jake's. Yeah. Well, but even Jake has had some that never made it to, uh, has had Lego Ideas projects that never made it to 10,000. So. But yeah, we can't all be shit in the bottle. Put the link up for it and I'll tweet it to gain more votes. Okay. Um, let me see if I have that in my banners. Uh, on the magic school bus. I just, I don't have a, um, darn it. I don't have a, I don't have that handy and my keyboard is not sitting in front of me. So it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to put that up. But if somebody, if somebody wants to try typing it in the chat, I don't know if y'all are allowed to type in type links in the chat or not, but you can get to it by B00NE slash Magic School Bus. Oh, sorry. B, B00NE.com slash Magic School Bus. That's sort of my uh, sh my link shortener domain. B00NE. So kind of, it's fun because it looks like boon.com, but it's actually zeros. So I don't know. We'll see. The Magic that School Bus is good, though. Thank you, Aubrey. I really appreciate that. Art is agreeing that I am in the lead at the moment. That, what's in the lead? I'm in the lead. I'm winning. Yeah, that's fine. You're winning. Fine. fine. You're on. Are you on bag five? I am. I was like, maybe I can get this done before we get off today. Maybe you can get bag five done? Uh, hopeful. We'll see. Wow. Ooh, now, now it's in the corner. I like it. There's a lot of stuff in bag five. Well, I think um, if we're going to actually finish tomorrow, um, if you finish bag five in the next 12, how many minutes is it? In the next 12 minutes, then I might build bag five um, like overnight or something. Okay. But I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm going to skip all these stickers on the front for now because they're applied at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and open bag five. Oh, um, Snorlax Whisperer says, Hi, this is definitely my favorite Lego set. Really, this is your, we are building your favorite Lego set. What? I may, um, I may put this on my favorite Lego set list after this build. We'll see. Yesterday, someone asked me what my top 10. Uh, Adam says, Goodbye, guys. Bye bye, Adam. Hope you had fun. And Rex says, Hi, everyone. Hey, Rex. I like that, uh, Chewy in there. Someone yesterday asked me what my top 10 Lego sets of all time were. And I put this set in my top 10 favorites, even though I hadn't built it yet, because I've heard so many people talk about how much they like this set and I own it. Um, so I figured like, I guess even if I haven't built it, there, there's no way I would put, I would never put it at the top of my list without building it first. But uh, I went ahead and put it at number 10. So we'll see. If uh, after we're done building, I'll update you on where this set falls in my list of favorite sets. <laughs> All right. Um, for those of you here, I'll talk just a little bit. Right after this stream is over, I'm going to be diving into a, um, a patron patron only stream over on patreon.com slash boon builds and that should be a banner patreon i don't have a patreon in my banners either what am i doing here patreon.com slash boon builds and um i'm gonna be testing out a trivia game a live trivia game with live chat uh engagement i'm gonna be testing that out over on patreon today 
Um, we'll, I'll be heading right over there from here. And uh, it's going to be some Boon Builds trivia, some Lego trivia, some Star Wars trivia. And uh, going to be a little test and hang out with my patron supporters. So thanks to those who are over there. And uh, I know Aubrey is with us right now. Let me think if, they, if I have any other Patreon supporters that are in the live chat right now. But um, that should, well, let's see. Do I have that open anywhere? I don't have that open anywhere. Scott says, thoughts on the Simpsons Lego sets, like the Simpsons House or the Quickie Mart sets. Um, I think they're cool. I've never been like, like way into the Simpsons, so I have not, I've not picked up any of those sets uh, over the years. But um, they're good looking set. I remember that house when the Simpsons house came out. It was like, well, that's a big house for yeah, Lego. That's really good. Um, I don't have it. For a, you know, for an official Lego set, it was an awfully big house. Now, you know, there's been some pretty big modulars, so. But. Brett, do you still do the modular city up on your entertainment center? I do. And I've got, I've got one in the works. Ooh, what is it? Can you hear it? My assistant. Uh -huh. There we go. I am working on putting together Market Street. This is um, awesome. Love it. One of the first ones. We've done. All right. Classic <laughs> Bricks says, um, Boone, you have to watch the guy that sings my, my, this here Anakin guy, maybe Vader someday later. Now he's just a small fry. That's Weird Al. Weird Al Yankovic, everybody, uh, from Running with Scissors. I think uh, 2000 that came out. Um, That's maybe 1999. Yeah, I turned the music off so that I can try to sing every word of that song right now. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not, but it goes a long, long time ago in a galaxy far away. Naboo was under an attack, and I and I thought me and Qui Gon Jin could talk the Federation into maybe cutting them a little slack. Mm -hmm. But their response, it didn't thrill us. They locked the doors and tried to kill us. We escaped from that gas and met Jar Jar and Boss Nass. We took a bongo from the scene and we meant, uh, went to Thede to see the queen. We all wound up on Tatooine. That's where we found or met. I don't know if it's found or met. That's where we found this boy. So my, my, this here Anakin guy, maybe Vader someday later, now he's just a small fry. He left his home and kissed his mommy goodbye, saying soon I'm going to be a Jedi. Soon I'm going to be a Jedi. Did you know this junkyard slave isn't even old enough to shave? But he can use the force, they say. And did you see him hitting on the queen? Though he's just nine and she's 14. Yeah, he's probably gonna marry her someday. Um, oh no, what goes next? Well, uh, the, uh, what comes next? After probably gonna marry, probably gonna marry her someday. Uh, something about they were. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, well, you know, he built C3PO, and I've heard how fast his pod can go. And we were broke, it's true. So we made a wager or two. Ooh, he was a prepubescent flying ace. And the minute Jabba started off that race, well, I knew who would win first place. Oh, yes, 
It was our boy. They started singing, my, my, this here Anakin guy. Maybe Vader someday later, now he's just a small fry. He left his home and kissed his mommy goodbye, saying soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. Soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. Um, I think there's two more verses, so which verse am I missing? Um, does anybody know how, what are the first words, what are the first words of the next verse? Anybody know the first words of verse three? If you give me the first words, I should be able to go with it. Um, what do they do next? Something like, Nick, can I have a shout out? Nick, you can have a shout out if you give me the first words of verse three of, uh, the saga begins. The bridge. Great voice for singing, Boone. Thank you, Samir. Well, I'll think about it for a minute. Oh, Holly Super Sticker. Thank you, Holly, with a $2 Super Sticker. We finally got to Coruscant, the Jedi Council we knew would want to see how good the boy could be. So we took him there and we told our tale how his midi-chlorians were off the scale and he might fulfill that prophecy. Thanks, O.M. Darji. Uh, the Jedi, the, how he might fulfill that prophecy. Well, the council was impressed, of course, and can he bring balance to the force? They interviewed the kid, but training they'd forbid. And Yoda sensed in him much fear. And Qui-Gon said, now listen here, just stick it in your pointy ear. I still will train this boy. They started singing. My, my, this here Anakin guy, maybe Vader someday later, now he's just a small fry. And he left his home and kissed his mommy goodbye, saying soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. Soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. We all, f uh, we 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 caught a ride back to Naboo, cause Queen Amidala wanted to. I frankly would have liked to stay. We all fought in that epic war, and it wasn't long at all before little Hotshot flew his plane and saved the day. And in the end, some Gungans died, some ships blew up, and some pilots fried. Lots of folks were croaking. The battle droids were broken, and the Jedi I admire most met up with Darth Maul, and now he's toast. But I'm still here, and he's a ghost. I guess I'll train this boy. So my, my, this here Anakin guy, maybe Vader someday later, now he's just a small fry. He left his home and kissed his mommy goodbye, saying soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. I'll go to the end, saying soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. Woo! There you go, man. You didn't, uh... You didn't know you were going to get that. That is probably one of the few songs in the world that I know all the words to. <laughs> I'm really terrible with lyrics, but um, when that when that CD came out, that Weird Al CD, I think I was a sophomore in high school, and uh, and uh, I was obsessed with it, and I listened to it over and over and over and over again. And it was sort of my mission at the time to memorize that song. And uh, so it's one of the few that I, I can always at least make a serious attempt at singing the whole thing. Hey, I think that's it for today, everybody. Brett, how far did you get? Uh, I Not very far. This is where I'm at. So I'm, they are now attached. Woo! But I did not finish Beg 5. 
Mine are, mine are almost there. Mine are almost attached. Okay, so thank you, everybody. We're going to pop on over to patreon.com slash boonbuilds, and I'm going to do my very first uh, live chat interactive test uh, uh, trivia game there today. So thank you for all those who uh, support me on Patreon. Thank you all. May the 4th be with you, and we will see you right back here tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific time to finish this build for Revenge of the 5th. Brett, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Daniel, Classic Bricks, Rex, Samir, Jake Sadovich, Chantel, Brickham's Den, Aubrey was here, Holly was here, everyone else, thank you all so much for being here. Until next time.